Welcome to Puerto Rico English News. The only English speaking broadcast of local Puerto Rican news and entertainment. Please subscribe. Keep us alive. Born 1962 in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, Hector Luis Camacho Matias, commonly known by his nickname Macho Camacho, was a Puerto Rican professional boxer and entertainer. Known for his quickness in the ring and flamboyant style, Camacho competed professionally from 1980 to 2010, and was a world champion in three weight classes. Camacho won three New York Golden Gloves tournaments, beginning with the Subnovice 112 pounds championship in 1978. During his professional career, Camacho had many notable fights against some of the biggest names in boxing, defeating Roberto Duran twice late in Duran's career, and knocking out Sugar Ray Leonard to send him into permanent retirement. He also fought Julio Cesar Chavez, Felix Trinidad, and Oscar de la Hoya, among others. However, he also had much publicized troubles with drug abuse and criminal charges. In 2005, Camacho was arrested for burglary, a charge to which he would later plead guilty. In 2011 he was shot at three times by would-be carjackers in San Juan, but was uninjured. In late 2012, Camacho was awaiting trial in Florida on charges of physical abuse of one of his sons. On November 20, 2012, Camacho was shot and seriously wounded while sitting in a car outside a bar in his native Bayamon, the driver, a childhood friend, was killed in the shooting. Camacho died four days later. Wednesday, March 10, 2022, surrounded by heavily armed police, the first suspects arrested nearly a decade after the fatal shooting of the iconic Puerto Rican boxer appeared in court to face murder charges. The suspects were identified as William Rodriguez Rodriguez, Luis Ayala Garcia and Joshua Mendez Romero, pictured above, who were being held on an $800,000 bond. The fourth suspect was identified as Jesus Naranio Adorno, pictured above, is being held on a $300,000 bond. The fifth was identified as Juan Figueroa Rivera, is held on a $1 million bond. Tuesday, March 29, Umacao, Puerto Rico, agents from the Special Arrests Division of the Police Department placed Elwin Barrios Navarro in custody, the fugitive was wanted on an arrest warrant and a global bail of $2,450,000 for charges of attempted murder and violations of the arms law. He is also a person of interest in various investigations of violent crimes in the area of Yabucao, Umacao and in other towns on the island. Delwin Barrios Navarro is 25 years of age and a resident of Yabucao, Puerto Rico. Monday, March 28, Isla Verde, Puerto Rico, the police department arrested 48 people Monday morning for alleged retail sale of cocaine and marijuana in the main tourist areas of the island. Police Commissioner Antonio Lopez Figueroa stated that since the weekend 48 arrests have been made and 21 motor vehicles have been seized along with money, drugs and three firearms. Among the detainees there is a taxi driver, hotel employees and a security guard, reported the police commissioner.
Tuesday, March 29th, Coloma, Puerto Rico, a couple linked to the sale and marketing of creatively packaged marijuana was arrested Tuesday by agents of the Ebonado Drug Division of the Puerto Rico Police Department, they reported in a press release. The agents seized a considerable amount of marijuana in plastic spheres with colored caps that are seen in the dispensing machines for children. The police also reportedly seized cash and ammunition. Saturday, March 26, San Juan, Puerto Rico, agents arrested five people at dawn on Saturday, including a 15-year-old minor, in an apparent business with the facade of a beverage business, that turned out to be a recording studio as well as an illegal drug and arms venue. The arrest happened in the residential Luis Urens Torres complex. According to police the clandestine studio was heavily guarded by gunmen. Weapons, ammunition and drugs were seized. Tuesday, March 22, Cabo Rojo, Puerto Rico, the Coast Guard intercepted 695 pounds of cocaine off the coast of Cabo Rojo, last week. The Air Patrol spotted the single-engine boat going at a high rate of speed and alerted the sea crew. After searching the vessel, agents found 250 bricks of cocaine worth $6.3 million, hidden in the hull. Two U.S. citizens were taken into custody. Wednesday, March 25, Caguas, Puerto Rico, Judge Sonia Nieves Cordero, of the Court of Caguas, found a case against Angel de Jesus Colonquiles on charges of first-degree murder and violations of the arms law in connection with the death, in May 2019, of Juan Carlos Rivera Rivera. Angel de Jesus Colonquiles, who is under investigation in Aguadilla for another case, was accused of killing Juan Carlos Rivera Rivera in front of a business, in Sidra, Puerto Rico in 2019. The defendant was said to have stalked the victim and shot him several times. He remains incarcerated in the Aguadilla Correctional Complex where he was detained on drug charges. His bail was set at $600,000 and preliminary hearing was set for April 11. Friday, March 25, Laras, Puerto Rico, a federal grand jury found cause for the arrest of Pastor Emmanuel Morales Hernandez, 29, of Laras, on charges of coercion, enticing a minor, and attempting to receive material that exploits a minor. Emmanuel Morales Hernandez, 29, of Laras, is a well-known pastor not only in Laras but also in Utuado, Puerto Rico. From November 23, 2021 to December 3, 2021, Morales Hernandez allegedly knowingly persuaded, induced, enticed and coerced an individual, then 16, to engage in sexual activity. He faces a minimum of 10 years in prison. Wednesday, March 30th, Guayama, Puerto Rico, the trial against Jose Rivera Velasquez, charged with the murder of his former partner Brenda Paris Baham Monday will begin on April 21st at the Guayama Judicial Center. He pled not guilty to having killed the policewoman before Judge Orlando Duran Madero. In January of this year, the victim, Perez Bahaman had a protection order against her partner and fellow police officer, Jose Rivera Velasquez, who had been disarmed and investigated, but three weeks before her murder the weapon was returned to him. The victim was shot at her home by this man and drove herself to her police precinct with several gunshot wounds. She was subsequently transported to an area hospital where she passed away. Wednesday, March 30th, San Juan, Puerto Rico, a prison sentence was agreed between the parties for two employees of former legislator Nelson Del Valle after they pleaded guilty today to corruption. Del Valle, pictured above is also accused of having committed the crime of obstruction of justice. Del Valle faces a maximum sentence of five years for the conspiracy charge, 10 years for robbery and bribery, 20 years for each count of wire fraud and obstruction of justice. Del Valle was accused along with co-defendants Nicol Santos Estrada, who was an employee of the former legislator, and his mother, Mildred Estrada Rojas, of having participated in the fraud scheme. Del Valle allegedly paid these employees inflated salaries and received cash payments or kickbacks, from the employees. His trial is scheduled for April 4.
Wednesday, March 30th, Fajardo, Puerto Rico, a panel of the Court of Appeals denied an issuance of certiorari, a writ or order by which a higher court reviews a decision of a lower court, filed by businessman Salil Azaveri, accused of killing a dog in May of 2021. The incident occurred on the golf course of the Rio Mar Hotel, in Rio Grande. The appeal sought to demiss the charges. Zaveri shot the dog three times using a 9mm Glock when the dog grabbed a golf ball to play, police say. The businessman is claiming self-defense saying the dog attacked him. He has been charged with aggravated animal cruelty and mistreatment. Tuesday, March 29th. San Juan, Puerto Rico, the former mayor of Guaynabo on how Paris has until May 31st to inform the federal court if he will change his plea to guilty or if he will defend himself in court. The indictment against Angel Perez Otero, former mayor of Guaynabo, alleges that he was involved in a bribery conspiracy in which, from late 2019 through May 2021, he received and accepted several $5,000 cash payments in exchange for city contracts with a construction company, and ensured that the company's invoices were promptly paid. The indictment alleges that the contractor regularly met in secret with the former mayor to pay cash bribes and kickbacks. Tuesday, March 29, Guayama, Puerto Rico, Judge Angel Rodriguez Torres, of the Court of Guayama, determined cause for arrest against the State Director of the K-9 Unit of the Police Bureau, Lt. Alberto Rivera Ortiz, for shooting a citizen in a restaurant in Salinas, Puerto Rico. Ten charges have been filed against the State Director of the K-9 Unit of the Puerto Rico Police Bureau, Lt. Alberto Rivera Ortiz, for a shooting that occurred on New Year's Day. January 2022, at the Puerto Al Sol restaurant in Salinas, Puerto Rico. According to the investigation, Lt. Rivera Ortiz shot Reynaldo Peña Tesador with his service weapon at the Puerto del Sol restaurant in Salinas. Rivera Ortiz is the owner. The prosecutor stated Rivera Ortiz, with criminal intent, carried out actions aimed at causing the death of Peña Tesador by shooting him with his service weapon. This without it being an act of self-defense. The victim was transported to the Mennonite Hospital in Guayama and, later, to the Rio Piedras Medical Center. He survived the shooting. Bail was set at $350,000. Monday, March 28, the internationally famous Puerto Rican singer, Ricky Martin, reads a passage from the most recent book by the respected novelist, playwright and essayist, Luis Rafael Sanchez. This touching tribute was inspired by the Luis Rafael Sanchez novel, The Heart in Front of the Sea. A beautiful whale shark was captured on video this week, five miles off the coast of Fajardo, Puerto Rico. Thanks for watching. Here's your weather chart for the week, for the north side of the island. Thank you for subscribing. Be sure and follow us on Facebook to get up-to-date weather, news, information, job postings, power outages, tourism, viral videos and entertainment. Search Puerto Rico English News or follow the link in the description. Have an amazing week.